Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Gene. Got another video for you today about the PC-12. Thought we would talk a little bit about takeoff power settings in the PC-12, how we set power, do's and don'ts, and uh, limitations, how it all works. So I'm going to walk you through a GoPro video here of this takeoff uh, in the PC-12 and G that I'm flying here. As you can see, it's a substantially different panel than the Legacy, but uh, works similarly. This is the 67P variant of the PT6 engine, which does have some different temperature limitations than the 67B variant, which is uh, what's on the Legacies. Uh, and uh, I'll explain this to you as we go. But the, the procedure for setting power in the PC-12 or most turbo props is that we want maximum torque for takeoff. So if you look over here on the Copilot PFD, you can see this is the ITT. I know this is small, but this is the ITT gauge. This is the torque, and down here is the NG, and then you've got some oil system information down below, some fuel flow information, and other things that we're not going to need to look at today. But uh, what we want to do ideally is set the torque to the maximum value that we can, which in the 67P variant of the PT6 is right around 42 PSI. And there's a little red line on there. <clears throat> Probably can't see it. Uh, this is zoomed out, but there is a little red line. And we want to set the torque just, just below or right at that red line, basically, for takeoff, if we can. And I say if we can because we're also limited by ITT. So if we are at a low elevation airport and the air temperature isn't particularly hot, we don't really have to worry about the ITT so much as we're setting the torque for takeoff. However, if we're high and hot, like let's say we're at an airport at a high elevation in the Rocky Mountains in July, in that case, we're going to temp out before we torque out as we set takeoff power. And what that means is as I advance the PCL, which is the power control lever, all the way up, <clears throat> I'm going to be watching my not only my torque, but also uh, more importantly, my ITT. And the ITT is going to reach its maximum value where I want it before the torque reaches maximum torque. And in that case, I'm temperature limited and I have to stop at that lower torque value and accept that as my takeoff power setting which is fine. And in that case, we would want to do what we call bleed off takeoff, which means we would inhibit the ACS bleed with the switch right here, or in the legacy, turn the ECS to off. And that closes the engine bleed and uh, it delivers maximum airflow through the engine for combustion. And what that means is for a given torque, we have a lower ITT. So it gives us a little bit more power on takeoff without raising the ITT is another way of saying that. So for most takeoffs, like I said, under normal conditions, normal circumstances, we can develop our maximum torque for takeoff without having an ITT exceedance, but not always. Um, and again, turning the bleed off is always an option as well, which we also do at the lower elevations in the summertime. Uh, I flew in South Texas over the summer, and I was, even though I was flying close to sea level, I still did bleed off takeoffs just because the temperature was so high. So that's always an option as well. Um, so the, in the 67P PT6, we ideally want to keep the ITT no higher than 820 degrees. And the 67P, or excuse me, the 67B variant on the Legacy, that number is 720 to 730 or 40. Different operators are going to have different preferences on that. And again, the, the cooler we keep the engine, the better it is for its longevity. So um, we don't want to push those ITT values too hard on, on a takeoff. Um, so I'm going to roll this here. So I'm just turning onto the runway, turn on the external lights, checking for traffic out there on final, traffic on the runway, pulling the checklist out. I'm going to do the before takeoff checklist below the line as I line up on the runway center line here. And right here, I'm bringing the condition lever up to flight idle, letting it spool up. So the NG just shot up a little bit there with, uh, of course, an attendant rise in ITT. And I'm just going to slowly bring the PCL up onto the governor until the governor bites. And then watch the torque and the ITT both coming up. So right there I've got takeoff power set, so I'm going to pause it. We're at 42.7 PSI and about 725 degrees ITT. And that's about where the ITT is going to top out, so we're nowhere near 820. So on this particular day, uh, since you know I wasn't high and hot, nothing unusual about this, this takeoff, these atmospheric conditions or anything, um, I didn't even have to inhibit the bleed and we could develop our maximum torque at a perfectly acceptable ITT and everything's peachy and rosy there. So no problem there. So I'm just going to track the center line here, accelerate to 80 knots, then rotate and climb. And 
and you can see the ITT came up a little bit more to 733, 735. That happens as we accelerate a little bit. And right there, I'm just rotating. As soon as we get a good positive rate, I'll tap the brakes to stop the mains and then uh, retract the gear. Yacht amp comes on, and then I'll reach up and turn off the taxi and landing lights. <clears throat> um, so that's the procedure. So again, as we turn on to the runway centerline, we're going to advance the condition lever to flight idle, let the engine spool up and stabilize. And then as soon as we're lined up on the center line, we're going to ease the PCO up onto the governor, feel that governor bite, stabilize and engage. And then we're going to slowly advance the PCO all the way up to maximum torque if we can get it while minding the ITT. If we temp out before we torque out, we just stop the advancement of the PCL and we accept whatever torque we get at our maximum ITT and go from there. Um, so that's the procedure. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, and again, most takeoffs, you don't have to worry about temperature so much, especially with the bleed off if you need to do that. But occasionally you will find yourself in a situation at a high elevation airport where you do temp out before you torque out and then, uh, and then you just accept the lower torque. Hope that's helpful. Hope that clears up some questions you guys may have had. Uh, if you have additional questions, please let me know in the comments. Uh, anything else you want me to explain? I'm always looking for ideas. Please let me know in the comments, guys, and uh, subscribe if you're liking this kind of stuff. Thanks again for watching, and uh, I will see you on the next video. Cheers.